it ain't, it ain't steroids, you know. It's the, the commitment to eating like a copious amounts of food. It's the commitment to being able to train harder each and every time you're in the gym, you know, and, and, and consistently. If something hurts, you don't stop. You gotta figure out a way to train around it. It's, it's the, again, the relentless pursuit day in and day out to say, I wanna take my body to a level that most people would never do. You know, the guys that you see getting in trouble and, and uh, recreationally doing things that are irresponsible, they're not, they're not professional bodybuilders. They're the average person, gym guy who just wants to try and look good, you know? And then that, they try and make that represent us, and it's not us. It's not us at all. Relationship with Fred. Friend. Started off as coach, trainer, I guess you can call it, or enemy. Would be better a better choice because I didn't like him in the beginning. They used to call me Pretty Boy. Pretty Boy Freddy. Back in the day. Why? Because I wore jewelry and shit when I used to train. There you go. <laughs> there you go. The only thing you were missing was the makeup. <laughs> when you showed up. Now don't look at the number on it. Because I've already slipped past, I covered the number up so nobody see it. <laughs> but there's Freddie's beginning. Yeah, Salt Bay State Powerless. Absolutely. You don't even own yours no more. I got it. Do you? Yeah, I got Mine it. don't fit no more. Yeah, mine don't either. <laughs> I think I saw him do legs one day. And I was a leg person. I mean, I was a squatting junkie. And Fred had a set of legs that, in my mind, clicked and said, well, that kid would make a good power lifter. Of course, he wanted to bodybuild. I had to convince him that the one was exactly the same. I mean, you got your size out of power lifting, and then you turned pretty. And you go on your little diets and you eat your, the right foods, where power lifters just kept eating like crap. And we got bigger and bigger. Boy, there's a chair right there. There you go. There's a chair right there, too. There's a chair right there, too. Appreciate you. Hospitality, sir. My Started bodybuilding in 1994 in AAU. But I, would, I didn't get serious about bodybuilding as more than just something I would do once a year, you know, then fatten back up, then cut down, do a show once a year, then fatten back up. I didn't get into the bodybuilding lifestyle until probably 2006. Bodybuilding is not something like you wake up and go, I think I'm gonna be a bodybuilder. Like you either love it or you don't stick with it. You know, like you have to love it. Like, you know, that, that pain that comes along with, when I'm laying in bed, my stomach's going nuts and feels like it's eating itself. I'm like, yeah, I'm getting better. I mean, you're, like the mentality has to be a little bit dark, you know, and you have to wanna, you know, 
I always say, if you can put the principles from bodybuilding in anything else, you'll be successful. The whole thing is about getting out of homostasis. You know, and the body likes to be in homostasis, so it would fight you to get back to homostasis. So if, if uh, you know, that, that spot where it's comfortable, and you gotta get it out of that spot, and that's the only way change happens. So you have to really love that struggle. You have to embrace that struggle. If you, so it's not one of those things where you go, I think I wanna do bodybuilding. It's not haphazard, you're like in it. You're not fair weather thing, you have to be in it, you know. Don't even get on it if you ain't doing them all. Give me 12, I'll give you 10. I'll tell you, we lost contact for a little while. And then I picked up with him. I had another friend up in the area and we met back up and I realized that he was really achieving his bodybuilding goals. I mean, he had forgot about power, but his his bodybuilding goals were 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 just unbelievable. F further than I ever thought or had imagined for any of the people that I've trained to reach. He he he's he's topped all of that. I think the, the most important thing with bodybuilding is your mind. Um, can I be consistent day out, day in and day out? You know, eating the same thing day in and day out, making sure that I'm focused enough that even when I don't want to train, I go and train. Um, because that's the difference. Like when I was winning a couple local shows, I mean, I was 19 years old, went to Long Island NPC and, and uh, took top three in the open, you know? Uh, the genetics, the lines were there since I was, you know, a young guy, you know, 18 years old. But the mindset to be able to say, okay, my show's over and I'm still going to be focused because with the overall game plan, um, that, that's what gets hard. Um, with the proper training, proper nutrition, it's, the, the body can do amazing things. Um, I think the ability to get out of your comfort zone and stay out of your comfort zone consistently is what separates the, the people that do really well in the sport and the people that don't.